Welcome to Frico Plays Rome Total War 2 in God Mode. This is the Athens 2 edition, episode 34, Preparing for Egypt. We review where we are and where we are going as we work to consolidate our massive gains of 200 B.C. Where we went from a northern empire to a world empire in the span of 12 hard fought months and this is where we are we were <coughs> predominantly here yeah we had here yes this is what we were we were here we were a northern empire but then in the span of one year we expanded dramatically so that now we own basically almost all of the known world except for three Egypt, Carthage, it's the Roma, yeah, Carthage, Rome, Egypt, what are we doing right now, well, what we did was, while you kids were away, I went through, and all of our cities are now, as you could see, all of them are top form top level elite institutions of excellence and awe our civilization has instantly been transformed in the span of only six years oh well we got some updates here didn't see them before that's interesting oh we got some updates ah all right, so we've got a few straggly... Uh-oh, something happened here. I don't even know. Well, we'll fix that. Don't worry, we'll fix that. Well, okay. I thought that these were all done, and they were all done. And then something happened, and I can't quite explain. All right, I'm a little confused, man. But at any rate, essentially they're done. So... The empire is, is stable. We we haven't had any kind of assaultages going on. Uh, I do see there's some sort of uh, slave group wandering around the area. I don't know from whence and wheres and whys and whatnot. So we'll see how that goes. But other than some scraggler, we're, we're, in, we're in fine shape. You could see, though, the vastness of our array. There's a lot of work that goes into making this empire what it is, and I don't think that people really fully appreciate what it means, you know, the hard work of being a thug killer. But, I mean, an emperor, a king, or whatever I am. Um, good guy. Arbiter of morality. Able to guide the flock towards higher and higher levels. And, the, and listen... The proof of the soundness of my wisdom and words and all that is, uh, look at this empire. I think success kind of speaks for itself. If you win, you're right. That's right. And I, I am a winner. I am an undefeated winner. There has never been anyone who could stand before me and say... I am Victor. Un unless their name was Victor. In which case they could say that. So that, never mind. You guys know what I mean though. Stop. Stop being so weird. Alright. So. I will. I tell you what. Now that you're here with me. What I will do is. I'm going to take you along for a little turn. So you see a little turn. Oh, we've had some stuff happen. Now, I'm going to get to some other stuff in a little bit here. We're going to get to our troopers and our household and whatnot. But listen, we've had a change in in horse leadership. So we'll talk about that. And that is, uh, get down here. You notice that's not Koldros there? So Koldros has kind of been promoted upward to political office and... Uh, Ur Urginus is now taking a place. You see Urginus there? Urginus. So so he's a heavy cav guy with the heavy cav guy. And uh, 
that's a good guy. That's a good guy to have in lead. And congratulations to Kodros for your victory. And uh, we'll, we'll straighten that out. All right. <clears throat> so we got that issue to talk about. We've got uh, only these three factions left, as I've detailed, and the slaves out there. And then why don't we get to watching a turn here? So you get to see. Oh, that's right. Lest I forget, there was an intrigue during this, which I did not capture on film. I apologize. There was uh, 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 an intrigue involving some politician that may be plotting to try to murder me, so I had him arrested. And apparently, some people are getting a little bit frillery about it, so I got a little issue working on in the court here that... Uh, we're going to have to sort through when we get to that that stage. But let's let's go through an end turn here. It's going to say you got characters. Yes, I know this. Let's see what happens and you get a sense of what happens during these turns here. Where Rome is on the move. There goes Rome. And away she goes. Lots of moving around. I wish I could understand things more than I do. I don't know if I... Uh, I don't know if there's anything that this is showing me that I'm not like... A, is there anything in... like? Are there differences at all between them? Or are they all just generically look alike so you can't tell anything about units or whatever just from look, scanning or whatever? Probably not. Probably just all the same. I didn't really think about it till just a second. Now you'll see here it says, oh no, attrition report. Oh no, we lost 1,630. Oh no, we lost 780. Let's go visit Cleisthenes. Let's see how we're doing. Ready? Where are we at? Cleisthenes. Cleisthenes. Uh, all you guys are there. Look at that. Look at that. They're all there. Don't worry. You're all fine. Yeah. Yeah, this is, it, it, it really does help when you're in God mode. And you just, when you're in God mode, you can engineer your life a lot differently. In a sense, that's kind of like what what you do. When you get like a, a heavy advantage, like say you're a large nation state like China or corporation like Amazon, then you can kind of kind of be kind of in a, in a sense like God mode because you have like unlimited supplies so you can build God mode systems instead of systems that have to account for minimal resources yeah god mode systems are way better than minimal resource systems every time and that's 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 why i play in god mode because i'm not stupid well actually i am stupid and and that's why i play in god mode because this is this is how i achieve glory and also cool special effects and stuff for you guys like just daring not exactly special effects. Visuals. Visuals. That's more like it. Visuals. So there he is. So, okay. So you saw then during a turn, we're we're basically settled here. Let's see if all of our cities are, are straightened up, though. I want to make sure of that. Oh, where did we go there? Yeah. I think, I don't know. Oh, man, that's a lot of stuff, man. You see all that stuff you got to go through? This is the work. These, the people don't understand. They see me living in my mansion, and they don't they don't see this part. They don't see the, the, the extra minutes that I take to click things to make their lives better. And also to force them to build military machines for me, but never mind about that. Listen, then people get jobs that build those military machines. Whole lives and industries and institutions and everything built around those things. Come on, man. I'm doing the world a service. You guys know it. I'm a good guy. The Fricosians are here to make everything right. And, and, and we hope. We're getting toward the end again. So we're getting a little wondering, like, what's going to happen? <clears throat> are we... Hmm. Oh, I don't know. 
I just don't know. I just don't know. I'm hoping that, that when we win, and of course we will because we're God Motors, that we stay and we get to build and grow internally until we become like one harmonic Fricosian voice of all. And maybe that's what it'll take to break through those clouds. Maybe then we'll, 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 we'll see the rest of the world, if there is a rest of the world. I'm not sure, man. It's kind of kind of dark out there. It's kind of dark out there. It's kind of dark. Look, let me show you guys. You don't believe me. I'll take my drone. Watch the screen because I'm flying my drone. All right. Well, I mean, you're you know, watch my you know. Where's my where uh, where? Let me let me get to it. Come on, give me some. Give me get. We're getting here. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Right into it. Right there. There. Look. I can't even fly my drone past this point. I can't physically get past this point. Like, I, ooh, 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 there, every once in a while. See this? Look. Look, a little dip. A little dip. A little dip. But look. Try to hit head on. Try to hit head on. Watch. Nope. You got to kind of, kind of, yeah. And you get a little bit inside. Little bit. Little bit. Little bit. Little bit. Little bit. Little. 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 That's about, that's about as much as you can get inside. That's about it. That's about it. And look, look, you can actually see. See what I mean? Sometimes there, look beyond there. Look, there's water, but we can't get to it. There's something else beyond there. We know it. But, but yeah, that's it. That's it. And here we are. We're really, yeah. Whoa. Oh my gosh. We're really, we really got far into it. Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful, but we just can't. Wow, I got pretty far in there. You notice that? Look at that. Whoa, can I get people? Wait, wait, hold on. Just, just, ah, uh, come on. No, no, don't, don't tell me that there's something here. Can I go in there? Can I go somewhere in there? Did I find a place to go? Did I? You won't let me go in. Long won't let me go in. Long let me go in. Long let me go in. Oh, I, uh, I was hoping maybe I glitched. I found uh, a secret passage to the other side. But no, no, it's not to be. That cloud, I don't know. It's a big mystery. But these lands are so secure for us right now. And now it's time for us to prepare for the next step. So with that in mind... Let's check out the family here, because we got some issues to deal with. Okay, so first off, let's see. Can we get can we get some politicians here? Yes. Okay. Let's hire you. Um, hire politicians. No, I I need beards. If you're not a beard, I mean, you're, if you're a lady, you don't have to have a beard. Oh, you, you can have a beard, but you don't have to. But a dude definitely, you have to have a beard. And that's not cutting it. I mean, I appreciate it because I can't really grow a beard, so, but, you know, I don't care. It's a thing. It's a thing. It's our thing. It's what we do. Don't judge us. All right, so let's uh, let's get you mustered up a bit, and uh, what's your name? Your name is, oh, you're another, Co oh, no, no, that's right. This is Kodros, that's right. This has been Co Kodros, this has been, he's been, uh, He's been promoted here, so let's see if we can. What can we do for? Well, we got nothing we can do for him right now. Hmm. Let's see. Okay, so here we're looking at Cleisthenes. Get you an upgrade. Get you an upgrade. All right. There we go. Skills three culture. I don't care about cultural conversion. Armor for all units. Armor for all units. That'll be good. And we're going to go with, uh, yeah, we're we'll just go with our authority on you. Oh, we got stuff we can do here. Secure promotion. Yes. Yes. His new title, Dictastas. This is so cool. He is now Cleisthenes Dictastas. Let's give him another promotion if we can. Now he is uh, uh, going to, oh my gosh. Let's see how much we promotion we can, oh, that's it. Seek spouse. All right, let's get him a spouse. He's been married. And let's check out our my lady. Now you got a lady, so let's go. Where's Kleisten? He's at. Wait. 
Where's Kleisenes? Where's your lady at? Aren't you in the family? Let me see. Disciples of Deuce. Disciples of Hera. Alrighty. There's Kleisthenes. Ah, oh, Zenobius. Let's get you hooked up. Okay, we are heroic hoplite. Yes, yes, let's do that. Let's uh let's get him some promotions here. He is uh Oh yeah, he's moving up, he's moving on up. Alright. I'm gonna I'm just gonna go through these guys and see just how much I can get. I uh, now what is he? Oh he's getting he's getting it worked up though. Now he's an epistates. Man, what's he gonna become next? Improve relations. Okay, let's do that. Wait, no, 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 never mind. Let's not. Never mind. Let me let me go out of there. Oh, how about that? There you go. All right, Zenobius, that's good. All right. Assassinate. No. Shred rumors. No. Gather support. Seek support. Oh, no. I don't care about that for you. Do a favor. No. Send a gift. No, I don't want anything else to do with you. Okay, so let's hire you. All right, we hired our guy. All right, we got you now. Let's go to Glycines. We got you. We've got uh, Agamades. Uh, let's see, where is Agamades? There's our, our young Cremonides. Let's get him some, some improvements here. Oh, that's nice. 5% shots per minute. I'll take that. I hate this thing. Oh, uh, these are good. These are... Wait, this is... Nope. Don't care about that. No. There you go. 5% armor for all units. Yes. Well, we're going to promote him. Yes, let's give him a promotion. He is going to now be... An, uh, whatever that is. We'll give him another promotion. Yes. Now he's a Dictastus. Got to promote our dudes. If we can promote him, we will. Now he is uh, that thing again. Do you go back to that again? No, now he's an Epistatus. Okay, and let's see this. Seek spouse. Yeah, let's get him married, man. We got to have kids, man. We have not been... I've just basically recently... I've been kind of discovering this game as I've been going along, making these series and just concentrating on certain elements. But now... Now we're going to get into this. When I start the next series, I'm going to do this stuff a lot more and really pay attention to things. And, well, y'all going to see it's going to be good. You're going to love it. All right. Take action against Disciples of Blue. D sorry. Okay. Secure loyalty. Yeah. We want. There you go. Secure that loyalty. It won't secure the loyalty. Now, I just want to see. We are at a kingdom right now. Can we? We still can't go to Empire. Allow, above 65% influence of the ruling party. So that's my problem. That's my problem. I really want to be an Empire. I'm still considered a kingdom, and I think that's whack. That's whack. I should be... I got. I got. I got to check out my party situations here. So, and this is another thing that I've just uh, learned recently is... Uh, Oh, where is the... Oh, wait. Let me get out of here. Hold on. Take the wrong thing. There we go. All right. So, where are we at here? This diplomatic status, faction ownership. Here we go. Political party affiliation. So, political party affiliation. The magistrates. So, I think that... Uh, so it's the disciples of Zeus. Hmm. They're they're kind of uh and then there's the disciples of Hera too. So where are the disciples of Hera? Hmm. Oh, out here. Interesting. So we've got issues. We have some factions that we have to go and 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 wait, who's in Disciples of Zeus? Who's the leader? 
The leader is Cleisthenes, and I have been building you up. Oh, boy. You know what? I'm just not going to worry about it this time around, okay? Just not going to worry about it because we're nearing the end. So listen, you're okay, buddy. I'm going to pay very much attention to all of these things in the next go-round. Although I don't think I'm going to be Athens the next time. I think I'm going to pick a different faction and... and I'm not sure which. Okay, so where so where's our politics? What else can we do? Disciples of Zeus, disciples of Hera. Who do we got in disciples of Hera? Asadiris. Oh, Kodros. Oh my gosh. Oh man, I'm doing it. I I mean I I wouldn't normally do this, but I just wanna I, I just wanna say here we go. Yeah, disciples of Hera. Yeah. Let's see what happens as a result of that. Yeah! I'm sorry. My court has to get in order because I need this to become an empire. Because I have much, I'm much. i tired of being called the king and I just say, call me Frico. And make Frico synonymous with king and emperor and all the other whatever. Where I walk, the world is defined by my footsteps. That's, that's what it's like. That's what it's like. That's what it's like. You... You living out the grandest dream of grandest dreams right here is what I'm doing. All right. So there you go. That's the political intrigues. And let's go and take a look at our Cleisthenes here and see how we can improve his military situation. Marksmanship here. And... Uh, we got uh, destroyers, enemy ships, uh, four percent shot per minute. Oh, there we go. That's uh, that's good. Speed up my heavy artillery, and I'm big on heavy artillery, so I'm down with that. I'm down with that. And we're gonna upgrade you. Yeah. What else we got for you? We got anything else? We got anything for our trooper dudes? No upgrades for you. All right, we got uh, is easy doors, nothing, no interviews. We have Boris. Boris, you've earned yourself some some new increasings. So let's uh, let's go right to let's just stick it with the uh, artillery themed uh, benefits for the most part. Uh, where something good? Come on, give me something. These things I'm not really crazy about. In God mode, I don't care much for a lot of these things. I just want things that help my troopers. Especially anything to do with rate of fire. Alright, let's just do that. Alright. And we always go for the center thing, so we'll do that. And let's see. 5% chance of wounding enemy agents. Uh, experience gain for infantry. Yes, we'll do that. Cremonides, the great and powerful Cremonides. You get upgrades. You get upgrades, my friend. You yourself also. You yourself also get an upgrade. So let's get down to that. Got that. The Northern Defense of uh, Zenobius there. Zenobius. Going to give your troopers a, a round of upgrades. How about that, Zenobi? going to be happy to hear that. We got you, buddy. I know you got some promotions recently. So we're doing that. Yep. We're taking care of our people. Making them all feel welcome. And I think Zenobius, though, is not of the right faction. If I'm, I've got to really watch, you know. I've got to watch. I gotta watch how I favor certain people in factions, cause it's not—it's it's hurting me. It's hurting me. But we won't deal. We're gonna let it slide. This this if 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 at the end we conquer everything, and then we stay, and I don't, cause I'm I'm almost sure we're gonna end up going to another round like we did the last time. I just have a feeling. But if we don't, then I'm gonna take care of things. But other than that, the next time. We're going to do things different. We're going to line our factions up in a line right from the start is what we're going to do. So now we have all of our guys basically heated up and uh, got our got our cities all taken care of. So what we're going to be doing, let's see where Rome is. Rome is there. 
Rome, are you not going to try to kick on Carthage? Because, Rome, I'll tell you what we're going to do. What we're going to be doing... To you. Speak, for you have my attention as the heir of the August Senate. Thank you. Listen, my friend, I got some big old donkey dollars for you. Take them donkey dollars, take them on home. There you go. Scurry on home, son. We are in agreement. You will find Rome an honest friend in this matter. You know it. All righty. Egypt. And speak. We surely have much to discuss and perhaps much to agree. You know, you're my favorite. You're always the nicest. You always say really. You're 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 all right. I don't know your name. I wish I knew. I got to figure out how do I get their name. I got to get her name. Figure out who these human beings are. I want to. Yeah, I want to do that. I want to have these human stuff. Now I'm 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 sponsoring Egypt. You you know I love you. Come on, Egypt. There you go. And there you go. Nothing. The gods rejoice when men show such good sense. We have an accord here. I love it. You know, I tell you, she makes it seem so right and common sense and and divinely appointed. I love it. She's away with words. I mean, I'm married, I think. I think I'm married. And, um, uh, you know, I'm not a harem kind of guy. So uh, I'm just saying if I wasn't, like, I'd probably hook up with her. And then, like, Egypt would be like, then I wouldn't even have to fight Egypt. I could just absorb it. <laughs> absorb it. <laughs> Wait. What are you saying? Anyway. So... We've given them money. So now the next step is basically... I'm not doing anything. I am going to be... Wait. Uh-oh, I missed someone. I don't want to miss someone this time. Who did I miss? Who did I miss? Oh, man, I missed a few. I didn't know... Oh, man, I, I forgot to work my way all the way down. Durr, I thought I worked... Yeah, that was, that was, that was dumb. All right. And we're going to go with uh, that guy. There we go. And where is... Uh, no. Come on. Give me something good. Give me something good for the troopers. Troopers need stuff. 2% morale. Come on. Oh, man. 2% morale. All right. I'll take it. That was kind of crappy. Gotta to, gotta to take care of you guys now. Cause you need an upgrade? Wait, did you get upgrades? Oh no, you need upgrades too. Gotta to upgrade our troopers. You know, one thing that I have decided after this iteration is uh I don't really need to build build a bunch of militaries when I'm in God mode. I that's just silly. I just I uh, I'll build a certain amount of militaries that'll be like at bases so that I can handle when periods of time when they sack my cities during turns because I just took them and then I can easily take them back but really I just got to really basically work on a three land army team and a three navy team and uh, yeah th three navy team primarily designed to take coastal cities and uh, obviously land army team to just to take cities but or, uh, towns whatever but also they have to be able to deal with field defenses uh, so field field exchanges and also cities towns settlements so the whole range so i think three units would allow me to have all the necessary so i'm thinking of them not in terms of units but really in terms of they're just unit carriers. There's 20 units in each, so I got 60 total units. So I'm thinking of them as just one big army. And then I arrange the big army according to what I need. This is my front line. This is my reserve. These guys get to rest. That's kind of like that. And then I, I think that's that's the strategy. I'm, I'm not going to use it for this next go-round. I'm going to keep what I've been doing now. But I am going to, you got something to look forward to in the next series. So when it comes to this, we're just uh, working our way through here. Oh, we got, we got updates on everyone here. So let's, this is Dion. I'm, I'm just getting used to Dion. I don't have a feel for you yet, my friend. But, uh, you know, I noticed you. Just so you know, I noticed you. 
Oh, yeah, 4% of shots. Uh, oh, wait a second. I don't need that. Hold on. Ah, oh, crap. I forgot that's the heavy cav. I don't need the heavy cav guy to have that for heavy artillery. Yeah. All the way. Yes. There we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Always updating these because uh, I want this guy right here. Courage leads to heaven. 10% unit morale upon recruitment. Wait. 20% enables ability second win. That's, that's a big thing. And then plus 3% uh, enables ability unity. I don't know what that is, but I'm anxious to try it when, whenever he gets a chance. I'm trying to get all my guys up to this at level 3. Okay, and that's another thing. If I just use a few armies, I can get a few military guys up. And I can also make sure that the military guys that I appoint are in my faction. Because I don't want to I don't want to be entertaining other we we're, we're not about choice. We're not about options. We're about homogenous Frico. The Fricosians of it all. Where we rid ourselves of all of the factional divisions by becoming harmonically Frico. That's the goal. That's the goal. So I'm going to end this turn. Well, actually, let me save this here. for. I, li I, I like to save things with some degree of regularity just in case. I'm just going to say this is Athens 193 BC. So it is 193 BC. And what you have to remember is that I am eternal, Frico, and my people are too, so long as we keep doing certain things, which I can't tell you about. Uh, it's secret. It only exists in the game of Earth, but it's secret. But what we're going to be doing is I want to give these guys time to build up. So, wait. Oh, my gosh. There's a province. that. Oh, there must be some provinces I can. I guess let me do this. I don't want to miss this. Provinces that I can do. Oh, my. Hold on. Now, I always show, choose bread and games. Because of my god status, the one thing that really helps is the uh, four, four, plus 14 public order. So that's what I always go for. Whenever I have that opportunity, it is always about bread and games. Just bread and games, bread and games, bread and games. I am I'm basically, I'm like China and the United States combined in my philosophy. So... China and how I'm dealing with other world powers and the United States and how I'm dealing with my own domestics. I'm that kind of guy. I am the best of both worlds. I am Frico. And on other worlds that you can't even imagine. It's like that. So I don't see anything. Oh, whoa, whoa here's one. I must have. Uh, wait, what am I doing? Oh, we already have it. We already picked that one. Um, okay, we'll pick that one already. Ah, uh, Pannonia. Don't. Cilicia, I think we already have that one. Can't get that one because we don't have all of the places, and that's okay. Not okay, not gonna lie. Not gonna lie, it's okay. All right, Bactria. Oh, my, we got updates, upgrades here. Nice. Whoa. We got we got a new square added there. All right. Awesome. Awesome sawsums, baby. I love me some awesome sawsums. When when you get awesome sawsums, you're like, yes, God is good. God is good. And yeah. I don't know why that song popped in my head. I just want to make sure we got everything down here. We got a couple more upgrades, which... Wow, I might check on that then. But I'm going to take you guys through just this one turn. We're not going to do another one of these. We're going to go through one more turn. And then, basically... I am looking to get it to maybe the year 180. That is where we'll get to. 180 BC. So this is about... 12 more years or so, 12 turns, I think. I think it's a year or turn. 
So we'll do 12 more turns maybe, in which all we're really going to be doing is, is giving these guys more money. Well, just Rome and Egypt. Not, not Carthage. Just Rome and Egypt. And I may even, like, I don't know, maybe I'll send an agent to sabotage Carthage or something. I don't know. I don't know. I, I, that's another thing I still have yet to even try to think about. The, the agents, the heroes, the champions, all those, whatever all those things are, I don't know. The uh, the spies and whatnot, those those types of characters. I haven't even gotten into how to use them, why to use them. I really haven't felt the need for them in God mode. But, uh... <gasps> oh, wow. Why was he arrested? Was that me? Did I do that? Wow. High chance of secession. Civil war. You see this, folks? This is what we're dealing with. So, we are going to have to deal with this somehow so we are going to have to go in and do the smackdown on these factions disciples of Hera disciples of Zeus oh yeah oh man let's just see let's just see the uh, the the tactical the tactical. There we go. Hmm. Let's see. You're the problem. And you're the problem. Oh, you're a big problem. I think it's time for us to go through. Well, you know what? I will see you on the next episode of Freako Plays Rome Total War 2 and God Mode. This has been Athens 2 edition episode 34, Preparing for Egypt. And wow, suddenly took a dark turn. We're going to have to deal with that.